Hey Alexa, what should I make for dinner? Finding some recipes. Similar to how many of us use Alexa or Google for a little assistance, ChatGBT takes it a step further, generating recommendations, songs, even essays based on a single prompt. Should you be afraid of AI in the abstract? No. Should you be concerned about applications of it? Absolutely. Dr. Colin Lynch teaches at NC State's AI Academy. He says the capabilities of the new bot don't shock him, but he is concerned about how the general public will use it. This, particularly as it gets to education, is one of the areas of short-term concern, right? It's right now fairly easy for a kid to fire that up and say, write me my homework. And so cheating on, say, an essay is going to be a little bit easier. A risk that will make it harder for teachers to detect original work from bot content. We've got to learn about the tool and learn how to teach students to use it responsibly, when to use it, and when not to use it. Murphy, a humanities teacher at the North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics, compares ChatGBT to how math teachers had to handle the calculator. So we have to adopt strategies, um, and that might be making sure that you are assigning an essay that's going to call on your students to do original thinking, that they can't fall back on resources online. Murphy's colleague Dr. Joe Labuglio says he looks forward to how ChatGDP can enhance learning if guardrails are in place. Now everyone has access to a good computer science teacher or a good social studies teacher. That is enormous. Uh, talk about equity, talk about um, the ability to have access to a reasonably good STEM teacher. That's not true now, but the vision of everyone, everyone everywhere in this world having access to topics and subjects that they don't now is, is again, is, is incredible. As for the immediate impact, it doesn't appear chat GDP is a huge concern, but educators say now is the time to find ways to get ahead of the potential problem. The colleagues of mine who've put their prompts into chat GPT have found that the writing is in many ways credible, but that right now chat GPT is not really able to incorporate sources, is not really able to provide attribution. That could certainly change as the AI gets more advanced. Experts tell me there will likely be the development of an AI detection software that will further aid educators in making sure their students are actually learning. For the I-Team, Smith Kumar, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.